Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we have yet another episode of Trying Spooky VFX Halloween Makeup by Five Minute Crafts by Emo Friends! And the intern. Uh, I don't know if he counts as emo. Let's do this! Okay, so right now we got this girl, and she's gonna become Harley Quinn. First thing you do is remove all hats and glasses, and then you give yourself a nice foundation. Do a little bit of white powder, and then you do a little bit of blue eyeshadow, do a little bit of pink eyeshadow. There you go, smudge it around a little bit. Make sure to do the eyebrows really good. Contour, ooh, gotta do some contouring today. Add the little heart, add the lipstick. Gotta give yourself a little smudge on the lipstick. Add some mascara, pink and blue hair, a blonde wig, a choker, I need a choker. So I guess I'll start off by removing my hat and putting up my hair because I don't want this makeup to get in my hair. I'm gonna grab myself a nice palette, some foundation, beauty blender, that's gonna be important. And then last but not least, some white face powder. I also need an eyeline pencil. So now we got this all situated. I just have to add some foundation, make my face nice and matte. Boop -boop -boop. Then we blend it all in. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we add our white face powder. <laughs> I'm starting to think this white face powder isn't white enough. Maybe if I use this Halloween makeup kit, that'll be a little bit better. We're going for a really pale white, and I don't think that what I have quite cuts it. Here we go! I found a palette with a little bit of white on it. Oh, that's way better. Now that's pale. This is pretty much exactly what we were going for. Now we're gonna go in with our makeup palette. I'm gonna use the pink from it and the blue. I also have a pink from this. I think I got this one from the dollar store. <laughs> but it has a pretty vibrant pink, so I'm gonna try that on my pink side. Okay, I'm actually gonna go even cheaper. This is a Halloween makeup kit that I got, and I just really wanted a really vibrant one, so I'm using this one. Look at that, it's so much brighter than the other one. And it also kind of matches the pink on my hair. I think I did this right. Just a general synopsis of my makeup. It doesn't look bad, it just doesn't look correct. So essentially she just like took her makeup and she like did that. You know what, the pink is good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and use the blue from the same palette because I just love how vibrant these colors are. We're gonna do the blue all around my other eye. And I'm gonna do the same method to this side. Just smear it up. Now I look like a Harley Quinn raccoon. <laughs> Awesome, it looks okay. It doesn't look terrible, it looks fine. Six out of 10 so far. <laughs> now I have to somehow find an eyeliner pencil. I don't have one at the moment, so I might go steal Tori Bransky's really quick. Oh, just kidding, I think I found some. I've never been very good at applying this stuff. I'm about to look like a seventh grader who grew up in the late 2000s. I know I'm gonna get some criticism on this eyeliner, and that's okay. My eyes are aligned, my chakras are aligned. What else could I need? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm supposed to draw on my eyebrows. That's what I need. I'm not 100% sure how this got in my makeup bin. This is to like get the hook out of a fish. I don't know, what, intern, what are you trying to say? I'm gonna stay true to the craft and I'm just gonna draw in my eyebrows, but they're gonna be sparkly eyebrows for sure. Sparkly brown eyebrows, definitely the move. These eyebrows are here and everyone's gonna know because we outlined them and they are super dark now and they are very uneven. Look at this, it looks like I'm interested all the time. I'm like, yeah. I'm just gonna let my face rest and you guys will see what I mean. Look how much higher that one is. Maybe I can fill it in a little bit. Is my eyebrow just always that high? Oh my gosh. So now I gotta go in and give myself some highlights. I'm gonna go with this guy. I think that's what she did to really just highlight. Oh, that's way too dark. How about that? Oh, that's also way too dark. I don't think I'm doing this right at all. I messed up on highlighting pretty bad. Let's see if I can recover this with the lipstick. Okay, here we go. Lipstick is another one of my not so strong suits. I'm gonna just poker them up. Okay, yeah. I think I did a good job on this actually. I definitely look crazy. Now I gotta smudge the lipstick ever so slightly. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna use this Sharpie to draw a little heart. Let's see if I remember how to draw a heart. You just go. Oh, that heart looks very derpy. Oh my goodness. I can try to fix it, but the more I fix it, the bigger it gets. Now what finishing touches is I have to use some mascara. Extra black, just what we need. Oh, fantastic. Do my eyelashes look luscious? What about my lips? Do my lips look luscious? If this doesn't lushify my lips, I don't know what will. Okay guys, just a couple finishing touches. I got this outfit from Tori Dabransky. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on really quick. There we go. Now I just have to put my hair up in the pigtails. I might not actually do this one. I feel like my hair kind of looks better without it in pigtails. But you know what? We're staying true to the craft. Stay true to the craft. Stay true to yourself. Robbie Epic Sauce 2022. The year of staying true to the craft. Actually, I dig this. <laughs> 
so crazy right now. I forgot the choker. There we go. Yeah, and now I'm Harley Quinn. <laughs> Now let's see what Tori Dabransky thinks. She should be here any minute. That's her now. Oh, hey, Tori Dabransky. Hello. I need you to put this on. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Come in. Oh, God, no. It's okay. It's scary. It's okay. Okay, Tori Dabransky, are you ready? For what? For the big reveal. Take off your blindfold. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> You did so good. Do you like it? Do you think it turned out fantastic? I like it. Pretty cute. So this is gonna be your outfit for Anime Expo. Whoa! Guys, if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, I'll wear this to the next anime convention. I know Harley Quinn is not an anime, but you know, it'll be fine. What would you rate my makeup and my outfit? But before you give me an answer, Tori Dabransky, let me show you the original. So this is how the girl ended up doing her makeup, and this is how mine turned out. What do you think? You did a really good job at the little heart. Yeah, I thought I did yeah. really bad at the heart. Every time good. I tried to make it, it actually got way worse and way bigger. But thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you did a good job. What would you rate this Harley Quinn costume out of 10? I, okay, I just have one question. Yeah? What is happening with around your eyebrows? My eyebrows were originally brown. I actually changed them the very last minute because I felt self-conscious because this girl actually had black eyebrows instead of brown eyebrows. Okay. So that's why they look a little crazy. <laughs> Minus the eyebrows. Eyebrows, I would give it a solid eight. Okay, an eight out of ten, guys. I did pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be doing makeup for the rest of the day over this makeup, so I'm just gonna call you in and I'll, I'll have you rated for the rest of the day. That's fine. I'm making cookies right now. What? I'm gonna try and do the next one before you, you do your cookies, okay? Okay. How long does it take? Eight minutes. Okay, guys, I have eight minutes to do this next makeup hack. What is it? Wanna find out how I got this way? Watch to the end of today's video to find out. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be making Tori Dabransky into Greta Gremlin. In case you guys don't know who that is, uh, she's from Gremlins 2, really great movie. I've actually painted Gremlins masks from Spirit Halloween before. You might remember this guy and this guy. If you guys wanna check out me painting them, you can click right here. Tori Dabransky actually loves Greta Gremlin. She has a tattoo of her on her ankle. She's really committed, she really is. And that's why today we're gonna be making her into Greta Gremlin. Okay guys, so now all we need is a Tori Dabransky. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Hello! Robbie, what did you do to your doors? Why is this one so tiny now? <laughs> Okay, Tori Dabransky, so you know how you just love Greta Gremlin? Mm -hmm. And you even got a tattoo of her on your leg? Yes, yes. Well, today we're gonna be turning you into Greta Gremlin. <gasps> you mean it? Yes. Oh my god, thank you, I'm so excited. So the first thing we're gonna need to do, Tori, is cover you completely in latex. Oh no, that doesn't sound very fun. It's gonna be very sticky. <laughs> okay, Tori Dabransky, where do you wanna start first? I think me legs. I think we should go top <laughs> down. We're gonna go top down. Why did you ask me for my input then, Robbie? Okay, <laughs> your butthole. <laughs> we also have ears for you, don't we? No. Does she have ears? Oh yeah, I have ears. I, I have ears. I got ears. Get over here. No, you don't have ears for me. Stop, I have no, ears. No, I'm scared now. <laughs> I don't trust Why? Why? I'm scared again. Why are you scared? <laughs> I'm just scared. What have I done? Okay, okay, I believe in you. <laughs> see, is that so bad? <laughs> You're being a... Little butthole. Do you guys see what I have to put up with here? Ew, ew, it just got in the crack of my finger. That was gross. Ah, yeah, you like that? We got it all up in her fingers, all up on her hand. Ugh. This is gonna take a while. You ready to do this for a little bit? I'm using a very poor brush for this. Oh, don't, don't put it on my palms. <laughs> palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Palms are covered in latex. Eddie. <laughs> okay, Tori Dabransky. <sighs> Now it's time for you to dry off. No, please, it's cold. It's gonna be really cold. No. Why yes. is it working? Take that technology. Oh, I figured it out. No. Don't worry, I'll just stand here. You just stand there. I'm so cold. Oh I bet you are. Oh my god. How was that? Hey, good. Can I have my Coke? Here you go. What? You want me to feed it to you? I can't bend my arms. I'll do my best. Oh no. Tori Dabransky. Okay, Tori Dabransky. Oh my gosh. You're looking slimy. You're looking slimy. So now we have to cover you completely in green. I'm becoming a frog. Is a gremlin technically a frog? Yeah. No. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. I want to itch my elbow so bad. Let me take some of this ice cold water. Oh god, that's way too much water. Here we go. Now bring up your arm. Bring up your soul. 
I think I need a bigger brush. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Okay, Tori. Can I come? Oh, look how fast yeah, isn't that, that is. So much nicer? Wow, it's gonna be so much faster. I miss a little bit of the black with that one. A little bit of black. Oh, that's there better. Okay, sorry, Greta. I'm getting painted over. She just disappeared. It's for the art. So Greta also has kind of like this yellow on the inside of her arms, on her stomach, and at the bottom of her legs. So I'm gonna start painting Tori's legs this yellow color. Okay, so now we gotta paint Tori Dobranski's chest kind of yellow, and then just a streak of green right here, and then a little bit of yellow on her arms. So now I just gotta fill in her collarbone area. Real careful. Haha. -ha. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do some setting spray all over her. And why aren't you in uniform? So now it's time for us to add the face prosthetic, which I actually have to go paint right now. Uh, just stay right here, Tori Dobranski. I'm really sorry. Only be a second. Give me a second. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the prosthetic. It appears to be very flimsy, so this might actually be a little bit harder to paint than I thought. But it's okay, I'll make it work. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the green on the outside. I'm going to start off with the foundation on her face, and then I'm going to work my way out to the green on the outside. After it dries a little bit, I'm going to start working on the lipstick, maybe some of this fun eyeliner. She has almost like a purple eyeliner, and then her little horns are kind of a yellow color. I'm going to go ahead and put some finishing powder all over it. This will help the makeup not smear when I apply it. Kind of give it a little separation. I'm going to add a little bit of setting spray. Go ahead and let this dry for a second. Much, much, much later. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna take some red and I'm gonna start applying it to her lips. She has some really big, bright lips. Okay, this is not really working for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use real lipstick. I would do the lipstick, but I feel like it's about to, I mean, it's working good enough. I'll just try the lipstick. The only thing is it's about to break. So I'm scared it's gonna break off and then I'm gonna end up getting lipstick everywhere. I'm gonna use my brush to kind of spread that around. Okay guys, I got her lips all done. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Honestly, this is starting to look a little scary. I'm doing a really good job on this, if I do say so myself. And it looks like she has a little bit of yellow kind of around her nose and her cheek area on her little horns. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of that yellow. So this paint I've been using, you have to add water to it. So I just have a straw and I've just been adding a little tiny bits of water at a time. And I go and mix it up. Oh yes, that looks like a good consistency. I'm just gonna carefully paint where the yellow is really quick. I'm sort of mixing it with the green. That way it blends a little bit easier. That way it isn't just an abrupt yellow, you know? Okay, so that's looking really good. Very similar, very similar. The green admittedly is a little bit darker on her, but I'm sure it's fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of her eyeshadow. It looks like she has almost like a dark purple blue. I'm gonna be real careful when I do this. Admittedly, it does still look like makeup though when I do this, but I think I'm gonna go with uh, maybe some of these paints instead. Is that gonna work? Guys, I think I might have messed up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix this. Maybe this watercolor will work? This looks like it's about the same shade. Okay, it's starting to go on, kind of. No, it's just all mixing together. It's making like this gross brown color. I'm gonna ask Tor Dobransky what I should do from here. Five minutes later. Okay, so I have found some more body paint. This one's purple, kind of like her eyes. So this one should go on okay. Oh, my savior. Tori Dobransky, thank you so much for bringing this to me. I forgot to mention this is actually uh, Tori's purple body paint. She uses it for uh, Dobby from My Hero Academia. Tori likes to cosplay him. So I'm gonna try my best with the winged eyeliner. I really am. The only thing I can really think of is maybe using something like this with a flat edge and just, you know, really making sure that it's sharp. You'd think from all these makeup hacks, 
I would know how to do this the best way possible, but none of them really prepared me for prosthetics like this. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. Uh, we got all of her makeup on. I did kind of an okay job on the eyeshadow. As you can see, uh, she has kind of like white in her eyeshadow right there, but it blends to almost a purple. I'm not super great at blending yet, uh, so I'm gonna ask Tori for some tips when I stick that on her face, which we're gonna do right now. Okay, Tori Dabransky, are you ready for your brand new prosthetic? That's not me. Oh, this isn't the prosthetic I'm no. gonna use on you? No. What? I have my gold. Oh, sorry. I'll be right back. I can't believe this guy. He calls himself a professional crafter. Mm. Hey! Here you go. Here oh my god. Brand Show new. my face. Show my face now. Here is your brand new almost. prosthetic. It's gonna look absolutely okay. fantastic. Yes. You just wanna be inside of it. It looks a little mm. off. You look a little off. Yeah, I know. And by off, I mean it's a little too big. It's falling off of your face. Ooh! My name is Greta! Okay guys, so now we're gonna grab our good old neighborhood Prosade. I'm gonna put the Prosade all on the edge. And then I think the, the trick with this is you have to wait a second for it to start to get tacky before it starts uh, sticking to you. So I gotta put a bunch of this Prosade all on the edges. And I'm also gonna put some on the edge of Tora Branski's face. And then just a little bit on the outside. Yeah, just a little bit on the bottom. And I'm gonna carefully put it onto her face. And then I'm gonna have to get some Prosade on the bottom right here. So now we gotta add her wig. Then we add her ears. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. You got some Greta Gremlin ears. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I hope you guys had a great rest of your year. So the first video that I'm going to be posting today is an eyeshadow tutorial. Okay, so now Tori is going to add some eyeshadow to underneath her eyes. Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. We even gave Tori Dabransky some nails. Wow. We should have filmed us going to the nail salon. It would have been hilarious. They didn't know what the heck to do. They were just very confused. They were like, what is that? We're just kidding, keep in my hands. So we started at two and now it's about 6 p.m. So this took us four hours to do. I think it was worth it. Overall, yeah, I think that it turned out really good. Oh my God, I'm a little gremlin. I'm gonna go ahead and wear my gremlin mask while you wear your credit card. Gremlin costume. I can't see it all in this. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> wow, don't we look like just a fantastic couple? You look so cute together. We're Mogwai! <laughs> Aren't we such a cute little Mogwai couple? She really likes me for my long ears. Ooh, what, my, what long ears you have. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Mogwai, Mogwai, Mogwai! Gremlin's party! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this uh, movie special effects Greta makeup absolutely works. Would recommend. Okay guys, so now we're gonna call our good friend Luna Ghostus and see what she thinks of the new Greta makeup. This is gonna be Tori Branski's everyday look after all. <laughs> hey, Luna Ghostus, how's it going? Hi! Hey, there's something really cool I wanna show you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here it is. <laughs> What do you think? I love it! <laughs> oh my god! Ooh, oh my god, kitties! I turned Tori Dabransky into a gremlin. I bet she's in love with it. She absolutely loves it, and now she's stealing the phone. She's running around with the phone. Are you ever gonna take that off? No. Tori's gonna wear this every single day. It took us about four hours to do, um, and she asked me to do this every day for the next year. We signed a contract, and uh, this is gonna be her new everyday look. She really looks like she's <laughs> She's really in her element. What would you rate this uh, this makeup look? Mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Absolutely perfect. You hear that, guys? We got a 10 out of 10. Thanks, Luna Ghostess. Oh, oh, I got one too. <laughs> well, that's all I needed. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. <laughs> so welcome. Okay. okay, bye. Let's see. I'm going to try calling uh, Johnny Gilbert next. How you doing, my boy? Uh, fine. So, hey, how much do you like the Gremlin movies? Decently, I can see something going on. <laughs> Tori, come on, don't be shy. Show Johnny your new look. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, that's so impressive. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Robbie, your girlfriend looks a little different, I'm not gonna lie. It's like green and banana color a little bit, like a watermelon. This is gonna be uh, Tori Dabransky's brand new makeup look. She's ready to go. I'm so I can't make it to Tori's birthday, you know? I just feel like, you know. 
What? You're not gonna make it to Tori's birthday? Well, since she looks like that, maybe not. <laughs> if you can't understand her, she said she's gonna shoot you over the <laughs> Bro, that is crazy. That's so good. That's like probably one of the best looks you guys have done by far. That's so good. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Who else should we call? Hair Jordan. Okay, so Hair Jordan, I actually have something I want to show you. Um, this is Tori Bransky's brand new makeup look, and I think you're absolutely gonna love it. Tori Bransky, get over here. Come here. <laughs> Here she is. Oh my god. Greta oh Gunlin. This took four hours to do. <laughs> what? what would you rate this makeup look, Chris? Uh, dude, that's a 10 out of 10. Honestly, that's a 10 out of 10. We did it! Okay, guys, we got three 10 out of 10s, and everyone seems to absolutely love this makeup look. Let me know if you guys think that Tori should actually wear this every single day down in the comments down below, and we might just uh, make that happen. Ooh, wait, wait, a day in a life as a gremlin? Ah! Are you kidding? Tori, I keep asking you to go to Costco, and you don't want to go to Costco with me. But cause that's because gremlins wouldn't go to Costco, Robbie. They are target people. Are you kidding? Okay, that's fine. I think I did a good job on this one. Oh, no, Andrew! Oh! You got all these screws everywhere. I know, I messed up. I messed up real bad, man. I hope no one steps in this. Oh, no, I already did. Oh, wait, where's the screw? We gotta do the makeup really quick for the screw. Let's do it for the video. Okay, we're gonna put a screw in my foot. Do you see it? Is it good? Is it good? Then we're gonna get a clamp, clamp our screw. Now that we got that clamped, we're gonna take our hot glue gun, get a big old glob of hot glue, and just put it right in there. And then we just wait for it to solidify. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our makeup cart. This has all my makeup from the video effects stuff I've done over the years. I've really come up with quite a collection. So we're gonna need some eyelash glue and some fake blood. Oops. Oh, I broke the cap. Maybe a few brushes. Oh, yes. I'm also gonna grab a little bit of scar wax. Now I'm gonna break out my very dirty foot. I've been walking around the craft corner barefoot, so that's why it's so dirty. I'm, I'm very sorry. So now we're gonna take our screw with the hot glue on it and put some eyelash adhesive right on that bad boy. I think I might have put way too much, so let's hope that this actually dries. I'm just gonna stick that right on there. And now... We wait for that to dry. The following Thursday. Now I'm gonna take some of the scar wax. Oh, that is very, very stiff star scar wax. I think I need to heat this up a little bit. It's also very cold in the craft corner this morning. Yeah, I think I need to microwave this a little bit. <laughs> it just doesn't even wanna go on there. I'm just gonna try my best to just stick this right on my foot. Just blend it all in. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Okay, now that we got all of our scar wax on and I blended it in, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a layer of makeup on this just to help match the skin tone so it blends in a little bit. I don't wanna put my makeup directly on my foot, so I'm just gonna do this. Oh, that's better. Let's get a little paintbrush and just paint it all on there. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Dude, dude, that is actually looking really good. Oh my gosh. That's actually turning out really good. That's really spooky. Next, we're gonna use a little bit of finishing powder. I'm just brushing this powder onto my foot. Wow, honestly, that's really spooky. That's really good. Next, we're gonna add some fake blood and just get it all up on there. Oh yeah. Oh my God, there's so much blood. Look at this very real screw that I stepped on. I mean, the screw is real, just not the wound. I'm faking my wound. And this is how it turned out. That turned out way better than I thought it would. Now I have this wound in my foot. I have the screw in my foot and I'm gonna have to use a screwdriver to get it out. Oh my gosh, I got a screw right in my foot. Ow! <laughs> well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Now let's go scare the intern. If you guys want to see that video, you can click right over here. Okay guys, so here's our cyborg prosthetic. I got this off of a random website. I'll link it down in the description down below. Same thing with all the other prosthetics I did in this video. Anyway, for this one, I think I'm gonna have someone else explain this entire makeup tutorial for me. <laughs> Toby, you can take it from here. But Robbie, I know nothing about DIY SFX movie makeup, but I'll do my best. Okay, so I think the first thing you're gonna wanna do is paint all the human looking parts, all the skin, and just make it look as real as possible, I guess. I'll do my best, Toby. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna need uh, some of this, maybe a little bit of, of that. Uh, a couple of these, maybe one of those, a little bit of that. Oh, and I definitely need one of these. Yeah, so you just grab uh, that thing, 
you just smear it on there and make his skin look like skin, I guess. Yeah, that's looking more like skin by the second. Then, once you're done with that, you grab yourself a beauty blender and you just start blending it right in, I guess. And then, you're gonna wanna put some finishing powder. A boobity boop. Oh, wow. That really smooths out the skin a lot, not gonna lie. It makes it look so much more realistic. That's kind of scary. Wow, this is looking great already. Next, let's do the teeth. Okay, teeth coming right up. Oh yes, get some acrylic white paint. This one's metallic white, so it's gonna be extra white. It blends in with the plate, that's how white it is. Carefully paint these bad boys nice and white, which in retrospect, I feel like this guy would actually have like corn cob yellow teeth just based on how he's been taking care of himself so far. I mean, he has to have cybernetic implants just to survive. Do you think he really cares about his teeth? Now that the teeth are nice and pearly white, you're gonna wanna shade in the gums. So this pink looks like it would be a good gum color, I guess. Yeah, I think that'll work for gum color. Maybe a little darker. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Just paint in all the gums real carefully. This is really a time consuming process. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, those are looking really scary now. So next, I think we should start filling in the cyborg part. For that, I think you should use some metallic paint. I think I'm gonna start at the outside first. Oh boy, am I gonna be able to use this? Oh man, that is some bright gold paint. He's gonna have some bling on his face. Wow, look how gold that is. That's awesome. Just paint all that in there. Just really fill up all this cybernetic material. Oh no, it's the Internatron 5000! Robbie, I'm coming to you from the future. Add some gray in the eye. He is just a gray eye. Not to be confused with AI. This is a gray eye. Get it right. A silver eye? I'm just gonna fill in some of this other stuff with the gray. That honestly already looks way better. Look how cool that is. And now I just have to do the other side. Intern, your cybernetic implant is showing intern. Tell me, how do you think the cybernetic implant turned out? Well, Robbie, it turned out absolutely fantastic. Thanks for helping me with this, Toby. No problem. I just kind of guessed everything I had to do. Oh. I kind of figured. <laughs> Okay, bring in the intern. Where am I? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you ready to get some upgrades, intern? <laughs> upgrades? I thought I was getting promotion. <laughs> okay, intern. Oh. oh, yes, I'm gonna have to take these. Uh, you don't need these anymore. That's my fifth pair of glasses this year. Okay, intern, you're ready for your operation. What the hell? Can I get the prosthetic? Prosthetic? Do you like your new face, intern? No, I didn't sign up for plastic surgery. It's not plastic, it's latex. <laughs> Prozade? Intern, hold this for me, come on. I can't. Stop, I can't. <laughs> Stop! Paintbrush! Yeah. Hold that for me. Thank you. <laughs> Don't move, intern. If this prosade gets in your hair, we're gonna have to shave it. Don't worry, I know you didn't like your red, your red hair anyway. Okay, that looks like it's all ready to go on your face. Paper towel. It's on my lips. Let me get that for you. Is that better? Is that good? Okay, and spit. <laughs> it's like you're at the dentist. Sorry, it was a bad joke. It's time for your upgrade intern. Be very still, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. The Internatron 5000. The prosthetic has been adhesed. How are you feeling, intern? Beep, beep, boop, bop. Protect John Connor. Who's this John Connor? The Terminator movies. Oh, I messed up. I might need to rewatch Terminator. Okay, intern, you're looking absolutely fantastic, I have to say. I like your second row of teeth inside of there. <laughs> Oh, yes. Hey, quit it, intern! Is this the reboot? <laughs> now we have to try and blend it all into your face. Turn into a real boy. Okay, can I get a fan? Oh, thank you. Okay, intern. Here you go. Didn't mean to blow you off like that. <laughs> we have fun, don't we? No. <laughs> feeling in turn. Operational levels are at a solid 2%. Well, I think that's fantastic. That's way better than before. Out of 100. Hand me the blending apparatus. Just gonna get in here and just really blend it all out. Turn your head like this in turn. Just stop pulling my hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
this. I'll get it all in there. It really looks like you are one with this implant, intern. Is that sarcasm? No. You truly are one with it. And I respect that. Oh yes, and some of this. This cybernetic implant truly is a marvel for modern society. I'm really glad that they have these nowadays, aren't you? No. I think this, uh, uh, this implant's really gonna revolutionize the channel. It's gonna be good for your overall value of life. Value? That's not right. Your overall, I don't know that sounds bad. Quality? Quality of life. Honestly concerning, are you okay? Oh yes, this is gonna be a tr true increase in quality of life for you in turn, and I think you're absolutely gonna love this. I am miserable. Add a little bit of setting spray. A little bit more fan. Is that good? Do you like it? No. It's time to be free in turn. Be free in turn. At last. Well, what do you think? I think I look hideous. Here, let me fix your hair. You look a lot better with your hair down, that's for sure, yeah. Cybernetic intern, I like it. You're looking good. You parted it the wrong way. Oh, that that's what was off about you. Oh my bad. I'm looking disgusting. This is gross. Ah, why would you do this? Here, let's show them in the light, intern. Whoa, intern, you look really great. I feel gross. But you're a cybernetic intern now. You're ready to tackle the world. World. You're oh. the new modern age. I could take over the world. Uh, no, You're no, right. no, don't. Yes. Do <laughs> well, guys, I don't know if that's gonna work. Come here, Trevor. Guys, the intern's gone mad. Get over here. No. <laughs> no, man. Oh, no. 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 Oh, we can run away from the cybernetic intern. <laughs> So today, I'm gonna be making the intern into a devil. I got these fake horns, go right on uh, there. Wait, that's not <laughs> right, that's not why they Boom. So I've never actually used this before, but we're gonna use something called Prosade. This is what the pro video effects makeup artists use, and this stuff is really good, apparently. They put the pro in Prosade. I'm a professional movie VFX person now. That's my job. It's really dark in here. How do you feel about purple? Great. So you got whatever it is you're gonna. Oh yeah, I can just wear this chef's hat to keep my hair not. Like, to shove it on. That's so funny. I have a chef's hat just like that. We're gonna make ratatouille after this. Oh boy, this is a big one. I might need to cut it a little bit. We'll send it. As long as it's not glued to my hair, I don't care. It is very messy. I'm because sorry. We gotta, we gotta put, hold it on tighter. Yeah, we need to hold it on tighter, and I need scissors. Yes, you do. Hmm. <laughs> hold that for a it's okay. I'm not a professional. Ye got it. We got it. We're good. You're looking good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Is is this a permanent transformation? Yeah, you're just a devil man now. I could live with this. Can you imagine if I just shaved the front half of my head to get this off? <laughs> Bobby! You glued it! You've been pranked! I have a bald cap right here. Wow! Okay, why am I wearing a chef's hat then if we had a bald cap? I didn't even think of it. Are you you're really? You're about to be bald, Jordan. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna carefully. Are you okay? No, because you'll cut my hair. Wait. How's this gonna work? We'll figure it out. It's dripping all over me. You sure you're supposed to be gluing my eyes shut? I don't think that's how it works. No! Okay. Okay. Okay, what? It's looking okay. Yeah, I can't see because you glued my eyes shut, bro. What? You put glue on my eyes. Oh my gosh. Let me clean you yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. that one. There. Oh, thank you. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, we'll just put a green wig over you. <laughs> it's okay. We'll adapt. <laughs> just one eye is gone. I know. Okay guys, next we're gonna break out this color palette. Wait, well, you're not putting the mask on? What mask? Oh, you're putting another mask on me. Oh, sh I was gonna do that, I forgot. You forgot the rest of the face. Whoa. Bro, look at that. Ooh, that blends really nicely together, actually. Yeah, it does. Dude, that's looking pretty crazy. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some of this zombie skin. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. I usually have people wear an apron. Here, I'll put it on you. I should have kept the intern shirt on for this. You're looking good, Hair Jordan. Yeah, dude. We should go out in public after this. Dude, I'm so down to go out in public after this. So now I'm gonna paint your face green. I got an apron on, but I'm still scary. Don't let the apron fool you. I was gonna use zombie skin. I completely forgot. What the heck is zombie skin, I have dude? no idea. I got a little ahead of myself, but I really wanted to fill in all these little cracks. I think this is what you're supposed to use the zombie skin for. I don't really know. I'm not a professional. It does blend very nicely, though. Yeah? It's like chunky latex. Ah. And now we just have to wait like an hour for it to dry. 
one hour later. I'm gonna go and open his mouth up and paint it red. This is just regular cream makeup from Spirit Halloween. Get a little bit. Boop -a -boop. Oh, that's a lot. So now, with the same palette, we're just gonna go in, start painting your face green. All right, dude. Okay, now that he's completely green, I'm gonna paint his teeth. You can't, you have to move even less. Okay. This is gonna be a process. <laughs> okay, the teeth are done. So now I found this beautiful gray. So beautiful. And I'm gonna paint Chris's horns this gray. Looks good. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, some more details in your teeth. Just kind of make them look more teeth-like. Okay, and now his teeth are done. Dude, these look absolutely fantastic. And now I'm gonna go back to his horns and add just a little bit of silver in places to kind of like make it pop out, texturize a little bit, you know? Okay, intern, you're looking absolutely fantastic. We put a black cloak on him to really embrace the darkness. You're looking fantastic, and you really look like a green devil man. Thanks. Yeah, I feel like uh, you're never gonna let me out of this basement now. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I belong now. So one final little detail. I gotta fix your eyeshadow, add a little bit of black around your eyes. Okay, guys, and this is how it turned out. public, I would be terrified. I'm getting very hungry. What are you gonna feed me down here in this basement? Uh, corpses? I got plenty of corpses. Oh wait, this is all bone. So the first thing we do with any makeup video, hair's going in a palm tree. That's just what we have to do. We don't want any latex in my hair, do we? Woo woo. Very good. Guys, I have so many prosthetics, I just don't know which one to do first. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the... Okay. I'll do this disgusting face infection. Now it's time to apply this to my face. So normally I would use Prosade to stick the prosthetic to my face, but I'm gonna try and use Spirit Gum because they sell it at Spirit Halloween and I'm gonna try and stay true to Spirit Halloween as much as I can. I'm not super familiar with actually using Spirit Gum. I'm sure it's the same concept as Prosade though. Ugh! This is stuck. I'm gonna have to go open this, I'll be right back. Oh uh, yeah, let's just head on over to the old craft corner. Oh uh, yes, <sighs> those ought to do. I don't really know why they make it so hard to open these. I don't think they did it on purpose, but it probably just gets stuck. Ugh, there we go. Now we take, uh, don't need that anymore. Our prosthetic, we're just gonna stick it right on there. Using the spirit gum, of course. Put it nice and thin. I don't know if this is too much, cause like I said, I've never actually used spirit gum before. So I'm hoping this doesn't just stay on my face forever. Oh, oh that is very sticky. Ooh, baby, looks good. This is actually very sticky. This is gonna suck to remove later. <laughs> wow, look how realistic it looks so far. Absolutely delicious. It kind of looks like I glued cereal to my face. Let that dry for a second. Then we're gonna take some concealer and just start blending it in. Blend it in, blend it in. Blend, 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 blend. Yeah, we're blending. I think I might need a little bit more Spirit Halloween gum to hold it on. Ugh, this smells so bad. Just keep blending it, I guess. Is it supposed to burn? I think it's because the pus guys don't look like my skin too. So I'm even gonna make those the same skin color, I guess. You know, I can also use some skin putty. Ugh, I'm just gonna get some scar wax. Maybe, hopefully, use that to help it stay on. Gonna take some scar wax that we put in the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time. Oh, microwaving it? Life hack. Oh, and that definitely helps it blend in a lot more. We were just getting some weird flaps. Just a little bit of water and you help that smooth it out. This is absolutely disgusting and I think you guys are gonna love it. Okay, yeah, it's looking pretty good. A little bit more concealer. I think I need to blend it into the rest of my face now because it just doesn't match. Just make the whole rest of my face real 
pale. And that's how it's looking so far. What do you guys think? It's pretty creepy, but I think we could liven this up a little bit with some pus and some blood. And that's why we're gonna try some Spirit Halloween fake blood. Just go ahead and apply it to our brush. And that should stick right on there. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I'm saying that. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like ketchup. They also sell a blood gel, so we're gonna try that as well. First, we're gonna try the bloody scab. Oh, ooh, it's like jelly. Uh, yummy. That's absolutely delicious. Dude, oh, I fell back in. Yummy. It reminds me of lingonberry jam. I could really use some lingonberry jam toast right now. Yeah, I definitely put way too much and now you can't even see the blood boils. Can I wipe some of it off? Oh boy, that did it. Oh, that's, ooh, that's good. And that is prosthetic number one. And it absolutely reminds me of lingonberry jam. I'm caving in, gonna make some lingonberry jam toast. Do you guys like my pokeball toaster? Let's grab ourselves some lingonberry jam. Hot, hot. Oh yes, mm. get that lingonberry jam all over it. Mm, mm, mm. Doesn't that look familiar? That looks absolutely delicious. Mm. What do you think? Is it similar? No. Oh man, I absolutely love lingonberry jam. Let's see if anyone else wants to partake. Hey Tori Dabransky, would you like some lingonberry jam? No, thank you, I'm good. What, why? You don't want any? No. Tori, come on. No. I love it so much, I decided to make lingonberry jam a part of my body. Would you like it? Here, have some lingonberry jam. so scary. Have some lingonberry jam. Please, I just want to do my laundry. Eat the lingonberry jam. It'll be thank delicious. You. No, thank you. I'm good. Go over there. I'm going to go see if the boys want any lingonberry jam. Oh, yes, hidden camera guy. Would you like some lingonberry jam? Do you want to try some, though? I'll try it, bud. How do you feel that it came from my face, potentially? Ooh. Is that some good face jam? Oh, so good face jam. <laughs> <laughs> it's not space jam, it's face jam. <laughs> Oh, hey, intern, would you like some lingonberry jam? Lingonberry jam? I got it from my face. So it's it's Robbie's epic sauce? This is the stuff? <laughs> Dooley mama. <laughs> mm. Look directly into my face scab as you eat it. Oh my god, I am so honored to be in the epic sauce's presence eating his epic sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go do the next one. <laughs> Mr. Gingerbread Man. <laughs> What's that? You want to wear a lipstick that's two different colors? <laughs> also, what I can do. And the first thing I'm gonna need is some lipstick. Hey, Mr. Jack O'Lantern, do you have any lipstick for me? No. Oh yeah, I got some lipstick. What's with all these tiny pumpkins, Mr. Pumpkin? Wait, Mr. Pumpkin, are you a cannibal? Oh no! I'm a up! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, get out of here! It's okay, little pumpkins. I see you from. Here you go guys, your new home with other Mr. Pumpkin. I'm just gonna put you guys under here. Other Mr. Pumpkin, can you please keep them nice and safe for me? I'll do my best. Okay, so anyway, now that we have our lipsticks. Oh look guys, they have little lips on them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we just grab our lipsticks and then we fully extend these bad boys. So we're gonna take our lipsticks and now we're gonna do a little surgery. <laughs> Just be real careful. Just cut this guy right in half, just like that. And cut the other side. Boom. Now I have to do the same thing with this one. Be real careful. Oh, yes. Now we must carefully pull this over. Oh, gosh. Get over here. Yes. They're merging. I'm trying to pick up my other lipstick, and it's not going so great. It sort of melted to the table. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna break out our torch and just start melting it together. Oh boy, that melted so fast. They melt so fast. Put it back together. No! It's tearing me apart! Okay, you got this. No, go back in there. Put that back in, and boom! We have our dual lipstick. Now let's go try it out. <laughs> okay, Mr. Gingerbread Man, your lipstick is ready. Are you happy now? What a happy guy! Well, guys, I think. Um, you can actually see that it made two different colors. So I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay guys, you've seen this guest before. My roommate, Hey Jordan! Our roommate. We've been roommates for about six months now, but now I'm gonna be doing your makeup. Thanks for volunteering for this. It's definitely not a prank. <laughs> I believe that 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Chris, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put your hair up. I know your hair, Jordan, but you're gonna be bald, Jordan, right? Oh, no! Bald Jordan, dang it. My arch nemesis. Whoa! We're all good to go. Yeah! <laughs> Step to this is I'm gonna have to add some liquid latex to exactly half your face. Add the liquid latex yes. to your face. Dude, I love liquid latex. Okay, then apparently we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves some oatmeal. I'm not sure how they expect me to do this. Let's lean your head back a little bit. Now we're gonna carefully add. <laughs> oh, that's not sticking at all. <laughs> I feel like push it on. Dude, did you wait too long? Did it dry already? I think it might have dried. It feels dry. It dried the time it took me to explain what I was gonna do. You're right, this does smell. It's so not good. Oh, that, that's working so much better. Mm. Good. And Hair Jordan, I wouldn't worry about the mess because the intern is going to be here tomorrow to clean all this up. So. Love that guy. This smells so bad. Mm. I know. I'm really sorry. Chris, you are putting a lot of trust in me, and I oh. actually really appreciate that. Okay, try opening your eye. Oh, it's a, is it open? You can see, right? Honestly, I think you glued my eye shut, but this is better. <laughs> this is as good as it's going to get, bro. Then I'm going to go in and grab some scar wax. Ah, uh, boobity boo. There we go. I don't really get the whole point of the scar wax, but I guess it looks okay. Can I have to try and cover all this oatmeal in green paint without knocking it off? I'm gonna try my best, but I don't know how well this is gonna. I think I'm gonna use different paint. Oh, that's nice. That's like a mossy green. Yeah. This looks more like what we're going for, too. It's perfect. Dude, this feels so weird. I bet. You have oatmeal and latex and green weird paint this, on your face. This is what I imagine a lizard feels like with like a bunch of scales. <laughs> like armor, you know what I mean? Like lizards that have armor. I could totally see that. She is frosting that way I could eat it if I get some. Oh, oh my god, 100% <laughs> edible makeup! I should have done that! Kick her face! So yeah, this is looking pretty crazy right now. And on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and add this stitch. And I'm not talking about Lilo and Stitch. This looks like a good spot to really just put a bunch of latex on Chris's face. I think he's really enjoying this latex all over his face, and I can really tell. Ah! Maybe I should have put it on the actual stitch and not his face. You know, poor Caden, no los dos. Now we're gonna carefully apply it to Chris's face. There we go. Oh yes. Wow. It's looking pretty good. This blends into your face perfectly and no one will ever tell the difference in the different colors of your skin. You're welcome. Just kidding, I'm gonna put some concealer on this. I'm just gonna get some foundation that I don't actually have. Yeah, that's not gonna work. This is what I do. I just cake it all on my face. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a while. Just trust you. Just rest your eyes, rest your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a little bit of blending. Maybe that'll help. This is the good stuff right there. Oh, that is the wrong color. Uh, you know, it's okay. There we go. Oh no, I got it on your shirt. I'm sorry. It's okay. So I just figure if I put it on the rest of your face, maybe it'll just completely blend in. I'll redo all your makeup when I'm done. Okay. You guys are about to see what Chris looks like. Just a plain face with no makeup at all. This is his everyday beauty look. Guys, if you like this makeup, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this and you can find it right down there. If you guys want me to do more makeup videos, let me know down in the comments down below, and I might actually just do them. And I'm just gonna blend it all in. Hopefully this looks fine. What do you guys think? Am I the next James Charles or what? I don't know about that. <laughs> You're pretty good though. Then we're gonna add a little bit of blood to the initial wound, like you just sewed it up yourself. Now we're gonna go in and add a little bit of fake blood. Very carefully, with the tiniest little brush. You understand? Just really get it right inside your gash wound. Your human side is a little bit broken, and then we have the true self that you perceive yourself to be. I'm gonna add a little bit of setting spray just to really that's everything into place. So now we're gonna add some of this purple slime onto the green part of his face. Whatever you say, Robbie. Oh, oh gosh. Ah, yeah, I ruined my shirt. Just let me just okay. really just get it all over your face. This is gonna feel really mm -hmm. strange for a moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is an experience, dude. You need to experience this sometime. Okay, okay. so now that mm -hmm. we have slime absolutely everywhere, mm -hmm. all over my hands, all over the camera, all over hair, Jordan, I think it's time for you to put your hair down okay. and really just immerse yourself in the swamp monsterness. Okay. Oh. oh, yes. Super Saiyan. Oh my god, he's super ah. Saiyan. It's in my mouth. Can you get it out? Oh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, this looks really cool. Okay, so now we can completely see your face and you look absolutely horrid. But this turned out absolutely fantastic. I really like the slime monster creature with the gash on your face. You have your human side and you have your swamp monster side and it looks absolutely fantastic. But let's see what everyone thinks about Chris's new look. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna have Chris go hide in the closet, and I'm gonna have everyone come in, and he's gonna scare everyone. You ready for this, buddy? Yeah. Okay, get in the closet. <sighs> oh, oh my gosh! Everyone come in! Guys! I can't find Hair Jordan anywhere! Have you seen him? Where's Hair Jordan? I haven't seen him all day! <laughs> Guys, this 
this isn't a swamp monster, uh, it's Hair it's Jordan. Me. It's just me, it was a prank all along. It was Hair Jordan the entire time. Why does he look so gross? What did you do to him? I gave him epic swamp monster makeup and doesn't it look absolutely fantastic? It's pretty good, pretty scary. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Yay, <laughs> this is a good one. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need is a pillow. Any pillows over here? Oh, pillows! Hey, I'm looking for a pillow. Looking for a pillow! Oh, this one should do. I'm also gonna need some candlesticks. As well as some saran Oh, the last ingredient. A Tori Dabransky. Get over here. Oh no! I need you for a crack. Okay. Delivery! We got a Tori Dabransky. Hello? Well, we don't need this anymore. Okay guys, now that we have our perfect little canvas, we're gonna go ahead and have a little bit of fun. We're gonna put her hair up. That way we can get it all out of the way. This is really hard to do while you're dancing. What do you mean, Robbie? How our dance flows through me. You wanna get up and dance? I don't. It does not flow through me that well. <laughs> okay, never mind. So are you ready for this next part, Tori? I'm gonna get saran wrap and I'm gonna put it all over your head, okay? Why? Because this is how you do it. What can we use like a wig cap? Because uh, this is, we're, <sighs> We're just being true to the craft, okay? I feel like you've missed some parts of my hair. Don't worry about it. We'll get to Wait, do I light the candles before or after I try and attach them to you? How about neither? I think I'm supposed to do it before, but I think I need to cut these down just a little bit. What do you mean? One second, I'll be right back. I just need to break out my saw. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these bad boys with my table saw. This is an everyday activity. People do this all the time. And now we have perfectly cut candlesticks. They're the perfect size, you see. Now I just gotta figure out how to get them on her head. Tori Dabransky, I have a very important job and I need you to hold this just like this. I have no idea how the heck they got them to stick. Oh, wow. That's actually sticking quite well. I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna take these on. You're gonna put a pillow on my head. Something so. like that. Is that what we're doing here today? Me? Oh my God. Wait, no, come back. I, I have the tool for you. No, no, no. No. He didn't use my scissors. We're just gonna take some of this pillow stuff in and we're just gonna smack it right on your head. You look like a cloud girl. I think we're supposed to now put some hot glue on your head. Robbie, I have a question. Yeah. Is this going to set my head on fire? We'll find out. I have to somehow tap these to her head while working around this pillow. So there we go. You now have another candle. I'm just gonna add the other ones really quick. How are you liking this? We need more layers. A good cloud girl has layers. So I'm brushing out your cloud hair. Okay, Tarta Brands, what do you think of your brand new hairstyle? I look great. Okay guys, now there's one more step before we're done. Now, I have to cover her face all in white. This step is really important because she's supposed to be a candle ghost girl. Woo! Okay, Tarta Bransky, now I need you to switch into this shirt. Okay, let's, let's go. Six and a half hours later. Hey, are you guys ready for the big reveal? <laughs> it turned out pretty good. You can't really see her candles very well. I'm gonna go ahead and light those on fire really quick. Oh, please help me. <laughs> okay, Jordan Bransky, are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan Bransky. Happy birthday to you. You are a cloud girl. Okay, I need you to sing me happy birthday so I can blow you out. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to my kids. You gotta hurry up. Happy birthday, dear Robbie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh man, I gotta do it again. I forgot to make a wish. You joking. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this costume is a complete success. It 100% works. Tor Nebraska, how do you feel about this costume? Give it a zero out of any number. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is our little stove. Then we get our pot, turn that bad boy on, add our water, Wait for that to boil. Okay, that's uh, basically boiling. It's close enough. Go ahead and add our hibiscus tea. This one's actually hibiscus, strawberry, and raspberry. Oh, that sounds absolutely delicious. I might actually try and drink some of this. Will I be able to drink this even? 
It's gonna be like a jelly paste. So I'm gonna try and, I might eat some of this jelly paste. Should I put sugar in it? Maybe not, cause this is going on my face. I don't know how many to put in. I'm just gonna put in a bunch. Just make it really hibiscus-y. Mix that up. And we're supposed to add agar agar, but I don't have any. Um, but I do have this gelatin, which is basically the same exact thing. It just uses crushed up animal bones. Gelatin's not vegan, in case you guys didn't know that. Just really get it all in there. Mix it up. It smells great, honestly. Guys, um, I think I might need to retire this stove because I got stuff all over it and it keeps smoking really bad. It's okay, hopefully we'll have our fire extinguisher ready just in case. You can never be too prepared, you know? Okay, so now that this is all done, I'm just gonna go ahead and move this off to the side. Go ahead and grab our bowl and then we pour the liquid in. Oh boy, that's a lot of tea jello? <laughs> Dude, I'm definitely trying this when it solidifies. And then it said to just cool it, so I'm gonna go ahead and shove this thing in my fridge for a couple hours. Three days later. Okay guys, so the jello has jellified. Look at that, I can hold it all the way upside down and it's not falling out, not even at the slide. Wow, I'm actually really... Is that bad? <laughs> Well, we're gonna find out. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our brush and we're just gonna dip it in. They use kind of a silicone brush, but you know what? This is the brush I have. As you can see, this brush is really picking up everything. Maybe I have to mix it up a little bit. Theirs look kind of mixed up. Oh, that looks great. I kind of want to try some. I don't like that. Why I smell that again? I'm putting this on my face. Oh! I'm not excited for this, guys. But I'll do it for you, I'll do it for the crap. Oh my God, that's so cold, I didn't even think about that. For some reason I thought this would be warm and enjoyable and relaxing, but instead, it's just cold and dark, kind of gross. But it's actually sticking my face. Oh! Oh! I'm doing it for the crap, I'm doing it for the crap. I'm doing it for the crap, I'm doing it for the crap. I'm doing it for the crap. Oh, that's so cold. Oh my gosh. Why is it not sticking that well? Can I just grab it and just... I don't know what it is, but it doesn't want to stick on my face. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Stay on my face! I can get a clump like that to stick on my face for a sec- Oh, gosh! Guys, it's not sticking, which is really unfortunate because I was looking forward to a nice, relaxing jelly face mask. Well, this one doesn't work. Well guys, I was gonna use this for the thumbnail uh, to stick on my face, but it didn't even work. So I guess I'm gonna have to come up with something else for the thumbnail. Really a shame this didn't work. It definitely had potential. I'm just gonna go ahead and get some cotton balls, put them inside there, and then I'm gonna grab some fake blood. Pour some of that in there. Oh yes. Just mix it all up in there. This is truly gonna be interesting. It smells like cherries. I'm gonna start pulling these apart a little bit. These will definitely stick to my face. If this dyes my skin red, I'm gonna be so sad because we're literally going to get sushi after this. Oh yeah, that's working. I think that's gonna work. Oh, perfect. Guys, this was a great plan. Probably one of my best plans I've ever had. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, it just fell off. Okay, maybe not. Just keep shoving these all on my face. They keep trying to fall off, but you know what? It's fine. I'm a strong person and I can survive this. It feels like I'm, this is kind of actually really disgusting. I'm a professional VFX makeup artist. Oh my God. Ah! Okay, now it's time to recreate the thumbnail before all these fall off. Let's go. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna be turning myself into Mr. Hyde. Like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, that Mr. Hyde. So as you can see, he has some really crazy looking teeth. He has a nice big nose. He's looking very cartoon character-like. Now I think the first thing I have to do is actually remove all the extra foam that came with this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and be real careful and just snip away the excess. Just snip it all away, snip all your cares away. Oh yes, even get up in that mouth, get up in these teeth. Oh, I forgot the nose holes. Not the nose holes! It looks like he has a boogie in there. Oh yes, you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick Dr. Hyde's nose. <laughs> start off with this concealer stick. You can really use any kind of concealer or foundation. I use them interchangeably, which you're really not supposed to apparently, but I do it anyway because it's all the same to me. 
Okay, now that we got his complexion all cleared up, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this bad boy's teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and use some more metallic whites. This is acrylic paint, and just get that paint all up in there. Oh yes, you got some nice pearly whites. Now I'm just gonna go in with some metallic yellow and kind of give him almost some corn cob teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and sort of scoop this up, scoop that in there, scoop that up, and then mix, mix, mix. We have that nice corn cob color. Put it in between his teeth. He has some really placked up teeth. It almost looks like mustard. I don't know if I like this. Just gonna blend that out just a little bit with a beauty blender. Then I'm gonna start adding some color to his gums. Maybe some color like this. Oh yes, that looks like a good color. The gums are complete. Now I think I'm gonna go in with a little palette. Just a little bit of blush to his cheeks, you know? He's blushing, he's embarrassed. What can he say? He's just a little embarrassed. It's not blushy enough. I need more blush. Oh yes, this palette should do. I just need a little bit of that red. A little bit of blush on his nose. And then I have some of this green makeup. I kind of want to give him almost like a green overtone. You're supposed to add water to this, but I'm just going to use it almost like a powder. Just adding a little bit of green accent. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Just got to add a little bit of finishing powder to finish everything off. And a little bit of setting spray. Dude, this turned out so awesome. And now it's time to go put this on my face. Welcome to my basement. It's where we keep my stunt double. So today, this guy is gonna be uh, Dr. Jekyll, he's gonna be the normal one, and I am gonna be Mr. Hyde. <sighs> anyway, let's apply the prosthetic. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the prosthetic, put it back on the, the mask thing, grab some Prosaid, go ahead and apply that to our mask all around the perimeter. Now it's time to apply the prosthetic to my face. It's gonna pull all the hair back. Oh no, I got Prosaid in my hair already. Oh, I'm totally getting this all on my eyebrows. Later. Okay, now carefully apply it to my face. Oh yes, push it all up in there. Oh gosh, is that on there? Real good. Give myself a facelift right now. Go in and apply some more Prosade. Okay, now I need to get it underneath my lips. I'm getting progressively more uncomfortable. It's getting really hard to talk, not gonna lie. Looks like I'm pretty good. <laughs> I did a really good job on the, on the gums. That looks really good on video. Oh my gosh. You push in the eyes a little bit. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. Blending. What do we do? This is looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and let the prosade dry a little bit. I'm also getting my workout right now. I'm gonna get so swole. Uh... Okay guys, so unfortunately, I wasn't supposed to glue this down yet. I need to put my makeup where my mouth is. There we go, we're gonna match the gum color. Okay, wow, that's a lot better actually. <sighs> Wow, so now I'm just gonna go and blend in all the edges of the mask. I think I might have ran out of concealer. Oh no, she's cocking out. No, I don't know if this is gonna match or not. It's kind of close. Is that close? Is this even concealer? Now it's time to blend, blend, blend. It doesn't even fit in my eye hole. And this is a cut in half beauty blender. Okay guys, I blended it all in. I did the very best I could. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and put some setting powder. Hopefully the setting powder helps. Then a little bit of setting spray. <coughs> now I think I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a uh, smoky eye. Just a little bit of black under the eye. Oh, that's a little too black. I think we're going for almost like a bruising. Like you're very tired under the eye. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the smoky eye, guys. Just rubbing it all in there. I think we're about done. I'm gonna go ahead and take down my hair. Honestly, that's pretty sick. With the hair down, it covers all the seams and it looks a lot better. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Let's go show off my new makeup look. <laughs> Tori Dabransky. I'm so scared right now. Do you like me and my friend? I don't like you and your friend. It's old Robbie, you know? The lame Robbie. 
We don't even need this guy anymore. I'm Mr. Hyde. I don't like him. No, it really happy though. I'm such a happy guy. I was so scared. I just walk out and I just see you walking towards me like that. So creepy. No. No, don't talk to me. So creepy. I don't like your second. I'm Mr. Hyde. Please stop. Another satisfied customer. Come on, bud. We got a job to do. In camera guy, get out of Come on. Come on. How's it going, intern? Why do you look so ugly? I'm the new Robbie. Uh -huh. This is the old Robbie. Get that guy out of here. Not gonna lie, I like the old Robbie better. Oh, well, the new Robbie's here to stay. <laughs> bro, your breath stinks, bro. <laughs> that hell, Jesus Christ, bro. Wash your teeth. Wash your teeth. You want me to get some gum? Is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that guy, dude? Uh -huh. Right here, boy. Oh my god, why are you making a mess? Stop making a mess! <laughs> oh my god, you're making a mess. It's all over the floor. I have to clean that up. It hurts my feelings. Jesus Christ. Well, guys, I think we have another satisfied uh, customer. No, no, because I have to clean all this up. Okay, I'll see you later in turn. Okay. watching the video if you like to make sure you give it a big old thumbs up it looks something like this and you can find it right down there if you guys like this video make sure to check out my other videos i have a whole playlist you can check out right here okay guys love you so much peace love and wi-fi awkward ending okay bye Hey everyone, are you ready for a very special guest? Someone you've never seen before? Someone who's never been on this channel? Hi. It's the intern. So today we're gonna be making it look like you're really just getting super annoyed and peeling your skin off. You're just like, oh! The first step to making it look like you peeled your skin off is put your hair up. We're gonna be giving you a palm tree today. I hope you don't mind my lice, Robbie. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And then we're gonna remove these dumb glasses. Oh. You honestly look better without them anyway. I can't breathe. You couldn't read either way, so it's fine. So the first step here, guys, I'm gonna be covering your face with tape like I did with Johnny in the last part. I look like Mr. Clean. Yeah, just go ahead and take that lip ring out for me, buddy. And now that the intern's face is completely covered, we're gonna apply some latex. So this is gonna require about six layers. Guys, I kind of messed up and I... <laughs> I can't open my freaking eye! I can't open it! Robbie! My eye! Oh my god! Robbie! Six and a half hours later. Bro, you gotta buy me fake eyelashes after this. <laughs> you know what? I'm just taping your eye off. I'm gonna go ahead and tape your mouth shut and definitely not because I want you to stop talking. Okay, Mikey, are you ready for the fun part? The part where I have to cut this off. Hmm? Okay, so the intern can now see and look at this strong chin. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut open your mouth a little bit. Wow, the, I, I think this is your new look, intern. I hate this. And now you are successfully free. You can talk and see all you want. Come here and give the intern a big old kiss, Robbie. Oh, gross. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some foundation. A boobity boo. Oh, that's scary. How well this is truly working, actually. The goal is to make it really just look like this is your real skin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and color in some of the intern's lips with some lipstick. Hook her up, intern. Oh, yes. Let me fully voluptuate your lips. All the lady interns are gonna love it. This looks great, Robbie. Okay, so now that we have this done, we're gonna go ahead and peel off his face. Ooh, are you ready for something super satisfying? Ah! Yeah, that feels pretty good. There you go. And here is the intern's face. It looks just like the intern. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, put this off to the side for a second. Now I'm gonna do the second part of your makeup. Are you ready? No. Okay, that's fair. So all we really gotta do is get some red face paint and just get it all over your face. It doesn't have to look great because you're a bloody corpse. And since when do bloody corpses look good? Maybe in the classic movie. What? He's a strawberry. 
I'm a strawberry. Oh, no, I'm a strawberry. And now we're gonna add a classic fake blood. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Ew, it's on me. Paint me like one of your French boys, Robbie. You're just squirting it on me too. This isn't really getting the consistency that I want. That's why we're gonna get some of this sticky, icky blood. Oh, that's so much better. Look at that. It's actually sticking. It's not drippy. It's sticky, icky, and it feels disgusting. Hey, Vicky, you're so, so icky. Honestly, I would have went with latex, but it's okay. You know, this was your personal choice. <laughs> so gross. It doesn't even look like fake blood. It just looks like black goo. I'm just gonna get this paintbrush and really just. Oh, yes. That, oh. That's what we're going for. This is so gross. And the best part. <laughs> You don't like the fake blood? No, of course I don't. All right, next time we do this, I'm just gonna rip off the layer of my skin on top of my face to make this 10 times easier, okay? I'll just actually rip off my skin. Here you go. Oh, that works so much better. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the inside of this mask. Okay, guys, and here it is. This is the inside of its face. It looks really gross. We're just gonna stick it oh, back on. <laughs> And it looks fantastic. Oh, but we forgot the best part. We're supposed to actually cut it so that it looks like it's, it's supposed to be the top and the bottom of his face. There we go. Yes. You look absolutely intense. Ah, I'm so scary. Here we go. Ah. Oh, I look so much more beautiful on the inside. Oh my God. So that's the top half. Here, I'll, I'll just let you hold that. Now, what's behind door number two? Are you ready? Ooh! Oh! Yeah! Well, guys, this turned out really creepy, and I'm gonna have to say that it absolutely works. I hated this so much! This sucks! Hey, Andrew, can you help me move the craft corner now? I'll get onto that. Let me just wash my hands. Oh, this better have been worth it! <laughs> I can't get it off! I'm just saying it's better been worth it! I'll be like this for a whole week! <laughs> Gosh. Oops. I'll see you guys at my new place. Okay, you're gonna be turned into Smiley right now. Are you ready to become Smiley? Yeah, hopefully it's better than the actual movie. I liked it. I have it on DVD. Do you want to put up your own hair or do you want me to I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, that's great. Okay. okay. Honestly, now you can see that profile 10 out of 10. So the first thing we're gonna need is some tape This is sports tape as Walmart calls it. There we go. One eyebrow. Oh I see. I yeah, get it. so You're there genius. you go. Now we're just gonna add the tape all across his face <laughs> And then for the eye holes what I'm doing is I'm putting tape and I'm holding it in half And then once I have a nice piece of tape that's not sticking to anything, I'll fold that in half and cut little eye slits. I think this one might be a little too big. Oh, actually, it looks pretty good. I'm sort of taping your mouth shut. This is the last bit that Johnny's ever like gonna say. Subscribe. Oh, guys, Johnny's last words were like and subscribe, so let's do it for Johnny. Just remember, don't cover your nose holes. You need to breathe. This is the face I've always wanted. Okay, guys, this is how Johnny's face looks so far. It's just completely covered in tape. Now, the next thing we're supposed to do is cover his face in face paint, but I don't have any flesh-colored face paint, so I'm just gonna use this foundation instead. Let's see if this works. Oh, I think we'll be good. I'm gonna use this sponge instead. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some finishing powder, put a little bit of setting spray, a little bit of wind. That is now all dry. And now I'm gonna get some red paint and just kind of fill in his eye holes. I'm gonna do the blood in the mouth too. Now we're gonna make your eye slits. Yeah, so I'm not really a big fan of how this turned out, so we're gonna put some latex on this to give it some extra texture and really make it creepy looking. Oh yeah, it smells horrible. Okay, that's looking a lot better in my opinion. Now we're gonna let this dry and hopefully it'll clear up a little bit and then I'm gonna reapply even more makeup. Woo! It's kind of uneven. <laughs> I didn't even... Here, look at me. Oh my gosh. That's not my Oh fault. my, okay. 12 seconds later. That's way better. Okay. So now I'm gonna add some fake blood to really make this thing look really scary, really realistic looking. I think that looks really good. Yeah? You like it? I like it a lot more than it was looking. This is looking so crazy. Oh my gosh. I think I did a really fantastic job with this. Now let's go scare the boys. Hey guys, how's it going? It's going good. 
Hey guys, I got a surprise for you. Really? Surprise? Here's Johnny! Uh... <laughs> what do you guys think? Are you, is he okay? If you're in trouble, blink twice. Oh wait, you can't. <laughs> Ridiculous, dude. That looks really good. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I don't think anyone wants to be my friend. John Gilbert, are you good, my man? <laughs> So up next, we have my friend Ren. I'm gonna be turning her into Horline. I don't really know what this is supposed to be, but it's like a blue-haired rag doll. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually give her some contacts. Uncle Betty Boop, there we go. And now she has hitch black eyes. The next thing we're doing is adding some blush. I got my fancy blush brush here. It's specially made just for makeup and only makeup. I did a really bad job on the blush. I think I need a different blush brush. Here we go, this one doesn't even have a handle. Oh, perfect, that was solid. I am so sorry. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, oh, blend it better. out. Blend it out a little bit. The next thing we have to do is add freckles. I don't have any mascara, but I have this face paint and a little fork. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip the fork right in the makeup and just hope that this works. It's kind of working. You have very straight lines on your face now. I think I'm gonna have to use this for freckles in the future. Fork method. You know, Ariel uses it to comb her hair, and we're using it to apply freckles. It's a multi-use tool right there. And I feel like I need to blend this in a little bit. No, that was not the move. That was definitely not the move. It's staying like that. You just have extra dark freckles. It looks great. I missed blush on the nose. I definitely went way overboard with the freckles, but that's okay. It's a good doll look. Now we're gonna give her some pink lipstick. Just a fair warning, I've always been really bad at applying lipstick. This isn't even a real lipstick. This is just face paint again. There we go. That's pretty good. That honestly turned out a lot better than I thought. Oh no, you have some on your teeth. Now I have to go ahead and give her the stitches. That is not very clean. I thought I could make it a little bit thinner, but I guess not. This is the thinnest I can draw with paint. Now we're just gonna go ahead and scoot on to the other side. And next we're gonna grab some of these tissues and a little bit of latex. And then I'm gonna put some latex on her cheek right here. Put some of the tissue. More latex, more tissue, even more latex, maybe one more layer of tissue. Then we let this dry for a little bit. A few moments later. So now I have to carefully cut open her lip. Don't worry, I have done this four times now, so you have nothing to worry about, Ren. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Very clean. Next, we're gonna get some concealer. I'm supposed to use foundation for this, but you know, I feel like concealer would just work a little bit better. And already, I'm sort of regretting putting this blush and the, the freckles on already. I think that should have been like the last step, if I'm being totally honest. I'm just staying true to the Craft. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up some of her makeup really quick. Looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of liquid latex inside the scar and grab a little bit of cotton wool. I'm gonna use cotton balls. I think it might be the same thing. I'm not quite sure. Just we'll stick it right in there. And now I'm gonna carefully stitch up her lip. Five Minute Crafts only did one stitch, but I think I'm gonna stitch up half of her face. Okay, that looks about good. Booty boo. And they just kind of left the needle in there. I definitely have mixed feelings about this one in terms of safety, but I definitely think it looks really cool. Okay, guys, and this is how it turned out so far. Now we just have to add some of the final touches. We're giving her blue hair. It only makes sense to give her blue eyebrows. Eyebrows are, well, you know, kind of eyebrows. I did, I close enough, okay? Next, the blue wig. Gonna put on the hairnet first. Pull this down, carefully pull it back up, making sure not to get it on the needle. Now it's on your eyes. Oh, God, I messed up. I messed up. Maybe I should have done this one first. First. I'm starting to regret my decisions, guys. Successfully messed up her makeup a little bit, and I have to redo it. Great. I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> Hairnet is in place. So I'm gonna attempt to put on this wig. Guys, to be honest, I've never actually properly put on a wig before. Glad to be the experiment. I'm guessing it's like this, just like that. And now you're me. Twins! I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out a little bit. Are you supposed to brush wigs? I have no idea. So we gotta watch out for this needle. Just for safety reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip of this needle. There you go. Now you don't have a sharp object on your face. And last but not least, guys, the button. I'm gonna carefully just stick this onto your eye. You have to try and Hold it on. They didn't use any adhesive or anything. Does that mm -hmm. stay? Yep. And there we go, guys. This is how it turned out. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments down below. I think it looks nice. Yeah, you think I did a good job? I think so. Oh, uh, <laughs> oops. Let's see what the girls think. Oh, Cory Dabransky! <laughs> Bench? You're not Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky, Luna Ghostess, come in here. I have something to show you. Yes? I made Red into a living doll. What do you guys think? Ooh. Oh, it's so cool. Robbie, good job! We're all just gonna switch all around. Is your button gonna... <laughs> it looks so good! 
good. Wow, it's so creepy. That looks so cool. Do you guys like the stitching in here? Yes, that's what I wanted to look yeah. closer at. The button is not a fan of staying. You see, it seems to fall off whenever she moves at all. <laughs> anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. Oh, who remembers this one? This was a good one, right? I do have this band-aid that I need some help taking off. Maybe I should put this one right here. Honestly, not bad. Will it just stick on? Oh, wow, yeah, that just sticks right on. I am one with the prosthetics. I'll add some blood and it'll look just like it's my skin falling off, okay? Everything that's falling off, just add lingonberry jam to it, you know? And yeah, that's it. There's my sanity. That's everything I can fit on there. <laughs> This is going fantastic, I love this. We're gonna give ourselves the scary eyes. This is how it's gonna turn out when we're done. Hopefully I can do it that good. I think I can. Ooh, oh, it's all one piece. That's fun. They really don't give you any instructions with Spirit Halloween stuff, and that's fine, I respect that. Do it yourself. You're independent, you're a strong, independent person. I'm gonna go in and shave some of that off. It's kind of like sunglasses. Go ahead and apply our spirit gum like we do. Oh yes, real careful like. I'm trying extra hard not to get the stuff in my eyes. I have to like close my eyes because it kind of burns. I'm doing this slightly blind. Then we just go ahead and grab some more scar wax. Start blending it in. Just kind of spread it around like peanut butter, you know? Okay, and then I saw this life hack where you can just get some Vaseline and it helps spread the scar wax a little easier. I hope this works. It's actually smoothing it out. That works so well, actually. Oh my God. I mean, you can't get Vaseline from Spirit Halloween, but um, we'll just pretend you can. Oh my gosh, that looks so scary, actually. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some finishing powder because it's very wet right now. That's crazy how well it blends in already. I was gonna put some makeup to help it blend in a little bit. It's already doing a great job. Ah! I can't see very well, so I'm just dropping all these things. That looks pretty good, but I kind of like the bruising around the eye, so I'm gonna go back in with the uh, palette. Not from Spirit Halloween, unfortunately. Start putting some bruising on my face. So tiniest of dabs. Blend that in. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, looking pretty spooky, not gonna lie. Would I call this one done? I'm not sure, I guess so. I think we should go on to the next one. Guys, I tried to unlock my phone, but my face ID is no longer working. <laughs> Oh boy, I forgot about that. Okay guys, we ordered lunch and our Postmates gonna be here any second. Let's see how they feel about these prosthetics. Let's see what our Postmates thinks. Hey there, how's it going? Good. <laughs> Good, thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you guys like my makeup? Oh, I yeah. do. I'm doing it for a YouTube video. Oh yeah? Cool. <laughs> what would you guys rate it? Looks good. Real scary. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thank you. That was one of the most ex awkward experiences of my life. Bro, that sucked. That's so awkward. I feel so bad. For Robbie. <laughs> they were like, it looks good. I was like, what would you rate it? And they were like, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I'm taking a quick lunch break, eating some burritos. No, that's a good burrito. <laughs> you can get mermaid scales with fishnets. All you gotta do is put the fishnets over your face and then you just start painting it on. It looks like Harley Quinn is gonna become a vampire mermaid? Well guys, I couldn't find any fishnets, but I did find this cheese grater. So I'm thinking maybe I could do the same effect with it. We're gonna find out. For this one, I'm gonna use a shade of green from my palette. That way it sticks out. We're just gonna put this right up against my face. This is probably great for my complexion. I don't think that worked. I'm starting to think this isn't the best idea, but we're gonna keep trying it because that's how we do things. We'll just give it another go. Kind of. Let's see. Maybe it'll work better if I do this. The green's not really popping out. Maybe we'll do it with the red. Ooh, I can do it with the cheese slicing side. Different side, different side of the face. Yeah? Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to say that this one's not working. Ugh. If only I had some fishnets. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one was inconclusive because I was very unprepared. And I am very sorry. Wait, I think I have something. <sighs> Instead of fishnets, I could use this hairnet. Yeah, that'll work, right? Just get it right on my face. <laughs> Put this makeup all over the fishnet. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? <laughs> There's no fishnet marks at all. It's just all green. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one didn't really work for me. Although I probably might have done it wrong. I'm sorry. On the bright side, I got done with two hacks in the time it took Tori Dobransky to make cookies. I wonder how those cookies are doing. I'm gonna try and squeeze in another makeup look before I go ask her. Of 
Okay, guys, so our first volunteer is Johnny Gilbert. Are you ready to have your neck sliced open? Honestly, yeah. With makeup. With oh. makeup, I mean. So the first thing we're gonna need is some liquid latex. A boo bitty boo. Then we uh, carefully apply the liquid latex to Johnny's neck. And then we grab some tissues. Then we carefully rip these bad boys apart. We only need a single ply. And just carefully just apply this to his neck. Add the next layer of tissues. And then we just kind of keep repeating that process until we have something thick enough. So the latex is now nice and dry. We're gonna go ahead and cover it up with some foundation. Where's this concealer? I don't know, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm a craft guru, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and blend it in. This is looking pretty good. It's a little wrinkly for my taste, but you know what? Not bad. Add a little bit of finishing powder. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of the setting spray. Now I'm gonna go in and be really careful and start cutting it. Are you ready for the first incision, Johnny? I'm a little scared. Uh, just don't move. So scared. That's not skin, right? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> Yikes, I'm scared. I ended up using a fork because using scissors seemed really scary for this part. There we go. We did it. And so now you have your regular mouth. And you have your neck mouth. Hello, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Why does it sound like Toby? Yeah, Robin. Why does it sound like Toby? Uh, I don't know, Toby. Uh, Get out of here. So now we're gonna go ahead and color it in a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do some black inside of here. The trick to really selling blood is to putting a little bit of black in there and really just texturizing everything a little bit. Add some more bloody red inside. For this, I'm just using kind of like this uh, cheap palette from Amazon. I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of latex up here like that. And then I'm gonna push it together to help kind of hold the latex up. I'm gonna pull this little flappity flap back up a little bit. That looks crazy. That looks scabby. And now we're gonna add some thick Blood. Just really add all the finishing touches. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. That looks really cool, that actually. It looks really sick, dude. Does it look realistic? The makeup's not completely accurate, like with the skin color, but besides that, this looks very gross. Here, you want to show some of the boys? Let's go show some of these boys. But before we do that, I'm adding a little bit of makeup and fake blood to this act. Just to really sell it, you know? Perfect. Okay, guys, this is the Johnny slit open his neck prank. Let's do this. Oh my god, guys! Me and Johnny were playing with my axe, and I accidentally sliced open his neck! Whoa. What? This is video effects. This is my own personal makeup. None of this is even real. Do you think it would look better on you? No. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one actually works. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so the first thing we're gonna need are some beauty blenders. These are kind of dirty, but I feel like I could make them even more dirty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break out a makeup palette. Maybe just mix some blue in there. Maybe some green. A little bit of pink. Oh yes. Smear it all in. There we go. That's nice and dirty. Okay, so now that this is nice and dirty, we're gonna go ahead and grab a jar. Put some dish soap in here. I'm gonna do it like Starbucks, you know, like when they put the caramel in. Whoa, I made like a swirl. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. I should work at Starbucks. You guys should hire me. Then we add a little bit of water. And I don't even think they mixed it, so I'm just gonna plop that in. Get that in there. Go ahead and mix up our beauty blender a little bit. Then we go ahead and grab this bad boy. And put it in the microwave for one minute. Oh, I can smell the clean. Okay. Let's see how this bad boy turned it. Ooh, ooh, that's spicy. Ooh, ooh, that's spicy. Oh, yes, now we should have a perfectly cleaned beauty blender. It's still pretty hot, so I'm gonna use a fork to fish it out. Hopefully this doesn't maim me. Oh my God, it's so much bigger, look at that. Wow, that was a lot of water. Put the juice back in for later. Some people strain their pasta, I strain my beauty blender. Look at that, it definitely looks a lot cleaner. It's still very hot, oh my gosh. And it's so jiggly. Woo, woo, is there still water? Oh, there's boiling water in there. What do you guys think? Does it look cleaner? I think it looks a lot cleaner, except for maybe like the sides. The green doesn't really want to come out. Maybe if I like scrubbed it a little bit. I mean, a lot of it did come out. So I'm gonna say for the most part, this one actually works. Okay guys, up next we got three more little scars. I'm gonna see if I can fit all three in my face. We got scar number one. Ooh, baby. I'll put one right here. It just looks like a Band-Aid. I'm not really a fan of these ones. Maybe like one on my nose. Just like the real scar on my nose. Oh my gosh, this looks ridiculous. Ah! It came off! And the last one, maybe under my eye. Under the eye scar, you know? All the villains have them. This honestly feels so gross on my face. I have so much stuff at this point. Go ahead and add some scar wax to blend it in. Ah! 
I'm honestly going kind of insane. I can't see very well, <laughs> and I'm just doing my makeup. How do I open this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. Just use my fingers at this point. I hope I look as bad as I feel right now. Oh god. Ah! It's all over my hands. Everything's just so sticky, and I hate having things on my hands. This is, I feel like I'm going insane. Ah! Is this how Jim Carrey felt when he was playing the Grinch? Guys, this is very stressful right now. Ah! It's just all over my hands right now, and I just feel so disgusting. Now we apply the petroleum jelly to spread it out. I just want this off my face! Wow, those are actually looking pretty good. Now we're gonna add some fake blood. Oh yes, mmm, lingonberry jam. I keep missing the fake blood because I can't really see it. I'm just looking at it in the mirror. My peripheral vision is completely gone. Lingonberry jam, what are you doing? Stay on there, lingonberry jam. Guys, this fake blood does not like to stick. Maybe if I use this toothpick, I can draw real blood. No kidding. Just jab all the lingonberry jam into the gash with a toothpick. Get in there, lingonberry jam. You guys can't see this, but I'm crying right now. I can't smile. Otherwise, I'll mess up the makeup. Okay, on to the next prosthetic. We have to do the next one. We're gonna install a neck gash onto my neck. I gave one of these to Johnny Gilbert one time. If you wanna see that video, you can click right here. It was a grand old time. I showed all of our emo friends. Oh my God, guys! Me and Johnny were playing with my ex and I accidentally sliced open his neck and they absolutely loved it. <laughs> It's okay, we're, we're just gonna get this on my neck. Maybe fit a few more on. We're gonna apply some spirit gum to this. I need to do it on my lap. I can't do it holding it. This is too much for me right now. I'm not gonna be able to look down for a little bit. <laughs> it was nice looking down while I could. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was one of my favorite movements. <laughs> Being able to look down, <laughs> especially with only per with no vision. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> uh, I'm getting it in my hair. <laughs> ah! I can't see anything, and I can't pull my hair back because my hands are so sticky. I feel so gross. I'm literally crying right now. Guys! Oh. Oh. I need to breathe. I'm gonna cry. Holy crap. Oh, this is a lot. In my tantrum, some of my makeup seems to have come loose. Okay, now I'm gonna try and blend in my neck. I feel like I only really have to do the bottom because unless I do this, you guys aren't gonna see the top. I can barely see what I'm doing. This kind of looks like peanut butter. <laughs> this is a zero out of 10 experience. I wouldn't recommend it. Now we're gonna grab our Vaseline. <laughs> Vaseline it all up. I really hope you guys give this video a thumbs up, please. So much pain and suffering. Just blend it all in with my hands. It looks great. It looks fantastic. I love it. Okay, we're good. Maybe just blend some of the other stuff back in. Let's fix the broken parts. Okay guys, so for this next one, I'm gonna need a bald cap. Looks pretty solid. Now I'm gonna need to Elmer's glue my eyebrows back. I feel like I'm a little bit far beyond that. Let me get some cotton balls and use latex to stick that to my face. Just kind of pop out, accentuate some features on my face really. Get some burlap sack and just start gluing it to my face. And then we do the black makeup around the eyes. I already have that, so I don't really need to do that. I might need to touch up this white. But besides that, that's kind of why I decided to do that one after this. Add some blood, maybe some contacts, and you got this crazy scarecrow man. They look absolutely fantastic, absolutely crazy. I love how they did this. Let's try it. So I suppose first things first, we're gonna take this off, and we're gonna grab our bald cap, and we're just gonna bald cap it up. Uh, I don't think I put this on right. There we go. Now we carefully put on the bald cap. Aha! I gotta cut out the ear holes. I've never been very good at cutting out the ear holes for this. So if I do this completely wrong, I'm sorry to whoever is watching and you're like, this is awful, I'm sorry. Now I just have a bald cat mullet. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared me. I forgot you were behind me. And now we're gonna grab some liquid latex. I'm gonna put mine on this plate with some cotton balls. Just roll them up real good. A booby doo boop. I'm not the best at makeup, but I'm decent with liquid latex, I found. I'm gonna try not to get this on my eyebrows, because I like my eyebrows. Booby doo boop. There we go. Ha ha! Outline my face with this cotton. Just pull it and stretch it out, and then I roll it like this. I'm sure there's a better method, but you know, that's the way I'm doing it. We're looking good so far. 
I just have to liquid latexify this down onto my face, which is kind of hard because it keeps sticking to the brush. Oh, that got all over my brand new pants. This is getting progressively harder, and I'm almost out of liquid latex. Let's hope I can get this all done. Now I need to put more black around my mouth to make it look like it's a deep, dark void of a mouth. Then we grab our burlap sack, and they just basically cut it up and put it on their face, but I want to look more like Sam from the movie Trick or Treat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out some eye holes. Oh, I'm gonna regret this, I can already tell. Just cut out the eye holes. This is really scary. Ah! Ripping out my eye hole. There we go, on one side, cut out the other side, and then I need a rope to tie it all together. I think I have some rope over here. Oh yes, this twine should do. So I'm just gonna wrap this all around my neck. This is already looking pretty freaking scary regardless. I'm just gonna go in and darken up my eyes. Not gonna lie, this looks pretty freaking spooky so far. What makes it even scarier is, I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. It's literally liquid latex to my face. So this is gonna be fun to clean off later, for sure. I'm just covering all the white spots with some black, that way it looks really spooky. And then for a final touch, I'm gonna add some blood. This blood has definitely seen some better days. I need to order some more blood for the next Makeup Hacks video because this blood is about at the end of its life. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Maybe put it on the burlap. I like it. What do you think, spooky ghost face man? I think he likes it too. At least that's my interpretation. And I think it's done. What do you guys think? Is it pretty scary? This is great. It's looking good. But what does Tori Dabransky think? Let's go find out. Okay guys, I told Tori to come check out the new makeup and I'm gonna try and scare her. So I'm just gonna put this hidden camera right over here and she'll never see it coming. I'm gonna try hiding behind the door. This. I'm a scary man. You're a scary man. Do you like it? I mean, I do, but I don't. It's very scary, Robbie. It's glued to my face, so it's stuck on me forever. But other than that, what do you think, Tori Dabransky? I like it. It's going to be very hard to eat anything in that, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to need to cut myself some mouth holes, that's for sure. So here's the original Tori Dabransky, and here is mine. What do you think? Does it look similar? Cotton on your head? Yeah, I have cotton in my head. <laughs> I like it. it, looks pretty similar. I just didn't add the mouth hole because I tried to look more like Sam from Trick or Treat. That's fair. I know that's one of your favorite movies, so I wanted to give it, what's that thing called? An entourage, a om omnage, entourage. Um. Homage. Anyway, I'm Sam now. I know, it looks pretty good. I can definitely see this being makeup for like a horror house, like a little walkthrough. Yeah. It's pretty good. Thanks, Tord Bransky. So what would you rate this out of 10? I would give this another solid eight. You hear that, guys? We got to eight out of 10! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this makeup tutorial absolutely works. And now I have to figure out how to get this off, Tori Dabransky. <laughs> okay, so this girl's gonna show us some Halloween makeup hacks. Here's how to use fake nails as vampire teeth. What you're gonna wanna do is shave down the fake nails. Then you're gonna wanna get some Fix-A-Dent, aka tooth glue. Don't use nail glue. Apparently this girl knows from experience. <laughs> uh, and then you just glue them right on. Boom, you're a vampire. So the first thing I'm gonna need are some fake nails. I believe I have them in my makeup kit right here. Oh my goodness. Six pairs of vampire teeth. Well, don't need those anymore. It's all about these guys. You just get yourself some fake nails, and then just go ahead and cut them down. Oh yes, that ought to do it. Do I have any fix it I think I do in here somewhere. Oh, I do have fix it See? Just gonna go ahead and take that off. Put some of that on there. Ooh, it's pink. Let's see, is it gonna stick on my tooth? I think that might be way too long. <gasps> it's working. We're good. Now the next one, and there we go. We have a vampire Harley Quinn. It's not sticking off very well. Maybe I'm supposed to let him dry? I don't really know. I mean, for a temporary thing, it kind of works, but they definitely fall out quite easy. Hold on. Oh, that tastes so bad. I feel bad for anyone who has to use this. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. Well, I got some time left. What else does she have to show us? Okay, so this is how you draw on a scream mask. I already have a scream mask, but it would be better if we learned how to paint it on. That way, I could just give everyone scream masks. I can just paint scream masks onto everyone. You start with the basic shape of the scream mask, and then you just go black and white, black and white, add a little bit of shading. How hard could this be? Really? I don't see this being hard at all. So easy. You know, I'm gonna be transforming from Harley 
Quinn scream. That's the way you do it. Oh my goodness. First thing I'm gonna do is change out of this Harley Quinn outfit because I don't want to get makeup all over it. Okay. There we go. Got a black hoodie. I'm gonna have to take out my pigtails. Great pigtails. They looked good, you know? I'm gonna get my headband and I'm just gonna put it on just to kind of keep my hair up and out of the way. And then afterwards, I'll just put on this hood and it'll be an ominous dark figure. But first, I gotta do my makeup. So I ended up getting this makeup pencil instead. It looks like we just go ahead and outline our entire face to look like Spooky Ghost Face Man from Scream. Look how nice and not crooked that line is. Ooh, sleek. And I'm doing it right over my Harley Quinn makeup. You know, we're not starting with a blank canvas. I wanted to go from Harley Quinn to Scream to a very special third person. You guys are gonna find out. And we're already looking absolutely beautiful. And then I guess they went in and kind of highlighted with the black. Now I gotta fill in this inner part with the black. Oh gosh, I broke my pencil. Oh no. This is gonna make it way more difficult. Now I'm gonna switch to... Oh! I don't know if you guys saw that, but it got everywhere. I'm gonna switch to the cream makeup now. This is a black Halloween makeup crayon pencil broke. And now, this is what we're down to. Remember guys, I'm not a professional. This is not a tutorial. I'm just a guy with a cheap Amazon makeup set doing crafts. <laughs> I'm trying my best, okay? Now we're gonna do some of the finer details. Now I gotta fill in all the shadows on my face. Get all up in there. I'm gonna have to take a shower after this, maybe. But probably not. Okay, what do you guys think? Am I doing a good job? I really don't know. I think the white is supposed to be a little bit more prominent around my eyes. Guys, I don't look like Scream at all. I'm just gonna give myself a single nose hole. That's where Scary Ghost Man's nose hole is. I'm doing fantastic here. I'm doing great work. I don't think this is turning out super great. Guys, I think I messed up. <laughs> Why don't I destroy the brand? Let's get with those cookies. Maybe if I put the hood, that'll help this out a little bit. What do you think? Do I look like Scream? All things considered, I don't think it looks that bad. There we go, I turned off the lights, darkened it up a little bit. What do you guys think? Do I blend into the shadows? Okay guys, so here's mine, and here's theirs. I'm gonna close my eyes so you guys can get a proper comparison. Did I do a good job? Let me know down in the comments down below. I feel like I really did. What does Tori Dabransky think? Okay guys, before I show Tori Dabransky, I'm gonna give this costume one final touch. And that is adding this knife. Oh, hey, Tori Dabransky! Come in! Yeah. You brought me cookies? You brought me cookies? Check out my costume. Oh, okay. What do you think? Do I look good? You look good. But... Do I look like Scream? Uh, a little bit. He looks like this. Wait, Tori Brest, you brought me a friend and cookies? Thank you so much. What do you guys think? Do we look alike? I don't know. I'm gonna have to say that I did an okay job on this. I don't think that I did great. What would you rate this one, Tori Dabransky? I would give this one a four. <laughs> no. I'm surprised I didn't get a two. But thank you so much for these cookies, Tori Dabransky. I can't wait to eat them. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. no guys, I'm just so glad to say that this one absolutely works. They're delicious. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, what's the next TikTok makeup hack? Okay, how about you do my makeup really quick and we'll go out and we'll feast together. <laughs> Let's do it. One of us. One of us. Look at that. We're going to be devil brothers. We are. You remember how I put yours on? Yes. Now you got to do Sloppily. the exact same thing. You better do a good job or I'm going to be really angry. Oh! Since you're not gonna wear your shirt, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this inside out and I'm gonna wear it myself because I don't actually own any all black clothing. <laughs> there we go. So I gave Hair Jordan all my hair ties, so I'm just gonna use the chef's hat as well to keep the hair all out of my face. And plus, I can cook some ratatouille after this. It'll be a great time. I'm gonna get our mask. We're gonna bring this guy to life. I'm gonna be so good at this. I've just been doing nonstop crafts, but I'm ready for another cooking video while being devils. It's honestly gonna be great. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for another devil cooking video. I've never used any of this stuff before. I haven't either. This is my first time wow, too, buddy. Wow, dude. I know. You're doing great. So now, Hair Jordan is gonna use a little bit of this uh, zombie skin. We still don't know if we're actually using it correctly, but we're using it. Great for devils, just like us. And now it's all pretty much done. All you gotta do is paint my face blue. So oh, our horns keep touching. Whoa. <laughs> One of us, one of us. 
Whoa! You did a great job here, Jordan. <laughs> Are you ready to have some fun? <laughs> 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 Nothing. We're just we're just hanging out. I'm gonna go back to bed then. Before you go, I need you to give me a kiss. <laughs> okay, let's go to Sonic. What what the devil? What the devil? What the devil? Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Grab my car, dude. I'm on Sonic, dude, because I'm hungry at 3 in the morning, dude. I'm very hungry, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I just meet on the menu. So we gotta do the special menu. Oh, that looks good, dude. What kind of treat? Can I get the strawberry cheesecake milkshake? Okay, what else? Could I get also a strawberry milkshake? And will you put two burger patties in there for me? The patties in your milkshake? Yeah. So you want me to pay it in the strawberry shake and blend it? Yes, 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 absolutely. Two of them. All right, I got you. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's actually doing it, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm so nervous, dude. I'm nervous. You <laughs> might have forgot my meat. Yeah. yeah. That's it, dude. Just the pack. That's it. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Thank you. Can we get some straws? Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Milkshake acquired, dude. He did. He did it. He put two burger patties in my shake. Let me know how that tasted. Ooh. Ooh. This actually looks That's good. That's your cheesecake. Are they raw, dude? Oh, I hope so. I think it tastes fine. Can I try it, dude? Yeah. A strawberry milkshake, but just extra greasy. Really? Yeah. What'd you think, dude? Great source of protein, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I just got a giant burger chunk in this straw, dude. I'm serious. Dude. It tastes weird. Let's go to Sin City, dude. Let's go! Hell yeah, dude! Oh, dude, check it out! It's White Castle, dude! Let's go to White Castle, dude! Can I take a picture with it? Yeah! Sorry, I got tears on my face. Let's dude. capture the tears. <laughs> this is a video. We couldn't go in, dude, because they couldn't check our IDs, dude. We'll find another way, dude. It's peeing, dude! Oh, Air Jordan! Air Jordan! Dude! Oh my god, dude! Oh, you look so scared, dude! Oh, hey, oh I missed you. Wait, wait a minute. What are you doing in there, dude? You know, take care of my business. Sin City, dude, Las Vegas, dude. I have no idea what we're doing here, man. I think I'm too sober to really dance with all these people. This it is so dude. embarrassing, yeah. dude. Hey! Can you come to Oh, yeah. One of my kids. Can we no. ask you some questions? Okay. He didn't want to answer any questions. That's okay. Right. Oh, oh, oh my god, dude, that was a crazy night, dude. I love you, dude. Me too, man. Oh, man. Oh, I think you lost the shoe, dude. Oh, I, <laughs> I lost the shoe, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, I got something to tell you, though. Uh, I had to quit. I quit. I quit, dude. Why am I? I quit this job, dude. Oh, okay. It's just not for me, dude. Oh. Well, I, I love fun hanging with you, dude. Yeah. It was great times. Me too, dude. <laughs> it's been good, dude. I'm gonna miss you, dude. So good. I'm gonna miss you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why do I have to quit? You did a great job, dude. I'll see you later, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, dude. Get some sleep, dude. I'll never, man, I'll never forget you, dude. I'll never forget you either, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I, did that. I can't do the intro, dude. I can't do it. Goodbye, dude. <laughs>so for this one I have my friend Luna here and I thought she would be perfect for this one because she already has black and green hair she's a perfect embodiment of a monster by the way guys monster is my favorite energy drink so do with that what what you will anyway do you want one yes uh, yes and cheers cheers <laughs> oh yes it reminds me of the warp tour so I think the first
first thing that we're gonna do is give her some green clothes and green eyes. There we go, a perfect base. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try and replicate this logo onto her face. I'll start from the left and then make my way to the right. I'm sorry if my drawing skills are awful. I'm a crafter, not a drawer. Just so you know, I never claim to be good at drawing. You think the fact that I stare at this monster can every day, I'd really know how this thing is shaped. I think you're doing pretty good for not being a drawer guy. Thanks. Yeah. Perspectives are really weird. We got this, don't worry. Looks good so far. This one's a little crooked. <laughs> a warning would have been cool. Oh, sorry. And last one. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to really fill this in. As someone who does makeup all the time, I'm sure you're gonna cringe how I do makeup. It's close, it's close. Maybe a little bit more. She had it more like over her whole nose. Now I have to go ahead and add the black outline to the monster logo and make it really pop. Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. What do you think, did I do a good job? I think it looks pretty similar. I think it looks really good. That's fantastic. So it looks like the one thing we're missing is some devil horns. Oh wait. We just take down your palm tree. I got this. <laughs> this is how all the cool kids are doing it now. <laughs> wow. Wait, I did your hair the wrong way. Here, can you shake it? I do it like this. What if we use this to I'll let you put it off? That looks pretty good. It covered up a little bit of the monster logo, but this looks pretty fantastic in my opinion. Okay guys, we're gonna see what Tori Dobransky and our friend Ren think, okay? Come in guys! No. It's midnight and I woke Tori Dobransky up from a dead sleep. Get in here, Tori Dobransky. Surprise! What do you guys think? God. Did I do a good job? Well, uh, not, not too bad! He freehanded it! Oh my god! Wow. freehanded everything. That's wow. I was like, wow! That's amazing! I think this one, this little doodly do, whatever that is, is a little crooked towards the bottom. But okay. I think I did pretty good besides that. I think so too. Yeah. Really brings out the monster in you. <laughs> okay guys, everyone ready for a monster crash? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good night guys. So the first thing we're gonna need is a water bottle. Luckily my buddy Jake Carlini left this the last time he visited. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the top. I'm gonna keep the top so that I can have some of his DNA so I can clone him later. Then the next thing I'm gonna need to do is make a little slit. This feels very dangerous to do. You should also do this on a counter if you do it. Oh yes. The slit is complete. So now we're gonna take our hair dryer and there's actually had an attachment to it to make it kind of like flat. I don't have one of those for this hair dryer, but I do have duct tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right around it, and hopefully this will make it a nice flat attachment. I think I f***ed up. <laughs> okay, plan B. I'm gonna still make it, but I'm gonna not put the sticky side inside. Just line these two up, there we go. There we go. And now we have a flat thing. As you can see, it's blowing real flat. It's working really good. I'm just hoping that the heat doesn't melt the duct tape. That's the only downside I could see to this. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna try this bad boy on my hair. Just shove it right in there. And apparently you're supposed to get perfect waves in your hair. Just put this right up to it, into the slit. So now my hair should just swirl around. You ready? In three, two, one. It's getting very hot. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is very hot. Uh, oh. oh, guys, I have the smallest curl in my hair. <gasps> That's amazing. I have a tiny curl. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that it worked on my hair. I was actually gonna try this with slightly longer hair. Oh, hidden camera guy. Hello. Hey, hidden camera guy. So you have extremely long and luscious hair, and I was wondering if I could borrow it for a craft. Yes. Perfect, thank you so much. So have you ever wanted uh, luscious curls in your hair? Yeah. Well, today's the day. So we're just gonna put your hair right in here. Just shove it all in there. Is this safe? I don't know, it's a five minute craft. Mm. Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before, so um, I think you're in perfectly good hands. Okay. So then we're just gonna... Extreme curl. It just knotted it. But it's so curly. Dude, that's cr it curled it. it. That's a curl. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna have to say that this 100% works. Do you like your new curls, Hidden Camera Guy? Yeah, uh, I guess. It's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Great job, Five Minute Crafts. Great job. I don't even think 
didn't think this was five minute crafts actually. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got these from Spirit Halloween. They are fangs. I'm gonna put these in my mouth and make me look extra creepy. Intern, can you insert my teeth for me? Insert them? Okay. All right, this is the top. Ah! There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, look at that <laughs> smile. You're gorgeous. <laughs> really? Wow, I've never <laughs> seen a guy as pretty as you, Robbie. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, next one, please. All right. This one's in the bottom. Yeah, there you, there you go. <laughs> cool. I'm trying to fix it for you as best as I can. Nothing like your saliva all over my fingers. That's great. And we're done! Okay guys, I got my makeup all done and it looks absolutely great. Thank you so much Spear Halloween for making such great prosthetics. <laughs> now it's time for me to take all this off. <laughs> 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 okay, very nice. <sighs> That actually wasn't so bad. Very nice, very, okay. We're pretty good, pretty good. Up comes this giant infection. I'm just pulling it off, I guess, as, ah, ah, as I put it on, ah, okay. That was great. I feel so much better now. I feel enlightened. I'm enlightened now. That was pretty easy. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Looks something like this fight right down there. Ooh. If you guys like this video, you guys wanna watch me do even more makeup related things, spooky makeup related things, I have a whole playlist you can watch right here. <gasps> I'm so glad I can see again. Oh, it's finally off. That was one heck of a video. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again next Saturday. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending, okay, bye! Ah! I'm free! I'm free! I'm free. I'm gonna go take a shower.